We showed a clip. My goodness, the band, that's so nice to hear live music. It's so great to be this close to live music every night. It, I t probably take it for granted. It's, it's, it's something that I uh, truly missed uh, when I first left uh, the old show. This, this is lovely. Congratulations. It's great to have them back. Yeah. It's great to be in a room with yeah. them, absolutely. Because what I've learned, and this probably ha doesn't happen in your case, even when the show that I did blew, <laughs> the audience would get great live music. <laughs> Free. <laughs> yeah, not a bad trade-off. Yep. Now, elevator races, yes, uh, the sir? representative... Clip. Yeah, the representative. Available. Clip, yeah. There's a new. Uh, hey, YouTube... but how about Bob Costas there? Bob Costas. There's a new YouTube channel that launched today that yep. basically has the full archives of your time on the show. And it is. You can spend a lot of time on it. I was watching uh, World's Largest Vase. Oh, the World's Largest Vase. Yeah. Uh, first of all, uh, thank you for mentioning the, the YouTube thing. You know, you, you get the YouTube app. Yeah. <laughs> And uh, so you get to see uh, things, and we're also spreading misinformation about the vaccine. <laughs> um, but the world's largest vase, it was something we had on the show. And I don't know the origin, I don't know where it came from, but as, as it was documented as the world's largest vase. And it, it came to New York City, and you're thinking, oh, that's cute, a week, an entire week, five shows, <laughs> e every night, the world's largest vase. On the Friday night, the last night of the show, or Thursday night, whatever it was, um, we had the world's largest vase addressed the studio audience. Yeah. And, and called for a peaceful world. <laughs> yeah. And there was also a book that had been published. It was Children's Letters to the World's <laughs> Largest Vase. And for some reason, uh, we all loved that. <laughs> And, and I, I think that it, it was tickling to think that, yeah, you want to watch some TV? Uh, turn on NBC. It's the world's <laughs> largest base. <laughs> Enjoy it, everybody. Now, it's not always fun and games. Uh, this is a photo of Jack Hanna, mm -hmm. uh, many, uh, made many appearances on your show. Countless. Um, mm -hmm. uh, and, uh, but this is a day that did not go particularly well. You want to I, tell us what's happening in that You book? know, I had forgotten about this. Jack, uh, for those of you who may... Uh, anyway, I'll tell you, was a, a tremendous guy, a very nice guy, and he was the director of the uh, Columbus Zoo for years and years and years. And, uh, like, two or three times a year. Do you have a, a guy that comes on with animals? We don't have an animal guy. What? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. You don't have an animal guy? I can tell you, we don't have an animal guy. Wow. I, I, yeah. What are you doing here? <laughs> well, anyway, <laughs> so he would bring uh, wild and exotic and uh, unregistered uh, animals <laughs> o o onto the show, and they they would be, you know, like forty foot snakes, and we'd have uh, uh, bald eagles and condors and and uh, a thousand year old turtles and all kinds of uh, well zoo animals, you know. Yeah. Uh, and Jack would, uh, uh, as it turned out, two or three shows in, we realized Jack knew nothing about animals. <laughs> but he had his little safari suit on, so... And I was talking to Jack about a year ago, and I had completely forgotten about this. And this uh, is, is Jack there, and uh, th that's his headshot. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, toward the end of the segment, the, the beaver, they have long teeth. Famously. Because they're yeah. constantly eating wood, famously. That's right. <laughs> Without that, they'd be nothing. <laughs> and uh, the, the beaver uh, uh, punctured Jack right between the index finger and the thumb. And I'm told that that's a, a source of gushing blood. <laughs> Thank you, Jack. Columbus Zoo, director of the Columbus Zoo. Jack goes backstage, and he's hemorrhaging. And he's got his hand right here. And we were not far from a, a hospital down, down south of here. Uh, and Jack said, no, 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 no. Jack didn't want to... He didn't want to call attention. He was afraid he would embarrass the show. Um, I never had that fear. <laughs> 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 he became, became inured to that. Jack walks into the... And nobody... He couldn't give him a ride. Jack walks into the emergency room, and the, the woman or the attendant, whomever it was, at the desk picks up the emergency phone uh, because Jack's now covered with blood in his abdomen. Uh, gunshot victim! Gunshot victim! <laughs> gunshot victim! Click. 
Now, everybody in the hospital comes running up toward Jack. And they said, where were you shot? Who, who, this and that. And Jack said, no, no, I wasn't shot. I was bitten by a beaver. <laughs> and, and now the, the police hear that, that may, now this is a real violation because the police come over and they say, you know, there are, there are no beaver in New York, sir. <laughs> because they, they think they got, who knows what they got. And he said, no, 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 no. The beaver is mine. And, and the police said, you're not allowed. It's illegal to have a beaver in New York City. Sure. Yeah. So he, he goes from being bitten by the beaver, mistaken as a gunshot victim, to arguing with the police <laughs> about what he is he doing with a beaver. And, and the, the, the whole time, the poor man lost like a quart of blood over the deal. That's why you need an animal guy. <laughs> That's quite a sales pitch. Yeah. That's quite a sales pitch. Get one of those guys. Now... I should know, uh, people couldn't see it when we, we showed that clip uh, of your show. You had no interest in watching it. It's, yeah, that's it's safe correct. to say you will not be visiting your YouTube page. Uh, no, not okay. unless it's part of a rendition. <laughs> now, does your, we, we also talked about uh, your son. Uh, you know, like um, my kids will have the same thing when they get a little older, uh, they'll know. I just, I love the fact that you have three kids those ages. I think that's just delightful. And uh, you, you folks probably have kids, eh? Yeah, I think there's yeah. probably some, some parents out there tonight. I mean, even when it gets uh, edgy, it's still the best, isn't yeah. it? I mean, my goodness. Yeah, I'm sorry. You have no, I was just going to ask, does your son, Harry, does he enjoy watching old clips of his dad? <laughs> <laughs> he, he, I don't think he enjoys seeing me in person. <laughs> um, <laughs> I, am, I am so upset with Harry because I have been sitting on a story, Seth, since the summer. Uh, and I thought, if somebody is nice enough to invite me on a talk show, I am ready to go. And so uh, I've been rehearsing it and going over it and over it in my head, beat by beat. And last night I said to Harry, I said, I'm going to be on the Seth Meyer show. Is it okay if I tell the story? I'd really rather you did. <laughs> Voices. <laughs> And I said, no, no, I mean, I'm not going to say anything. It's all about me. It's not going to be... No, please don't tell that story. <laughs> so I, I honor that. I'm mm -hmm. not going to tell the story. I'll just give you the highlights. Uh, <laughs> thank you. Uh, have you ever been knocked unconscious? No. Neither had I until this summer. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> have you ever ridden in an ambulance? Yes. Really? Yeah. What was that? Well, my... my oh, is this the, in the yeah, lobby? Yeah, my, my kid was born in the lobby, and oh, then they still make wow. you go to the hospital. Wow. But it's the best... I mean, the best way to ride in an ambulance is with a baby who's already been born and is healthy. You know, then it's just a joy ride. <laughs> Yours is probably less so. Uh, my, yeah, my whole story is less so, thanks to you. <laughs> Harry called me and said, tell yours. <laughs> a little weasel. <laughs> but uh, over the Christmas holidays, here's a story that he did. Green, oh, he signed green, off on one. Yeah, green light, this one. Um, I, he's at that age where uh, I just don't do anything that makes sense to him. Uh, and so I said, Harry... Uh, tomorrow, oh, but we had a Christmas tree and there's no way to water it. And I figured out, let's go to the hardware store and get a length of plastic tube. That way you just pour the water in the plastic tube. It goes into the Christmas tree, bang, zoom. I'm like Phil Swift. <laughs> um, and so I said, Harry, tomorrow, let's go to the hardware store. Uh, maybe. <laughs> <clears throat> now, 18 year olds, you know, maybe means no. So the next day, I said, well, how do you feel about that trip to the hardware? Oh, I got stuff to do. Again, it means no. He has nothing to do. <laughs> Later in the day before the hardware store closes, and this is, it was touching because you often wonder, does my kid worry about my health? Mm -hmm. And this was a moment when I realized he did worry about my health because I said to him, Harry, I'm tired of asking you about this. The hardware store closes in about a half an hour. Will you go with me to the hardware store to buy the hose so we can water the tree? Uh, I really don't want to go, but uh, I know if I don't, your head will explode. <laughs> So I realized, oh, he does care <laughs> about me. God bless Dad. Well, uh, he's not alone. Uh, <laughs> we all care about you. Oh, you're so and, uh, kind. Thank you so much for being here. Oh, this no, is a thank really, you. I mean, a really nice uh, celebration. Very and, you nice know, um, this is, uh, I, you know, I think. Uh,
I think you and I uh, share something where maybe not a lot for fanfare, but this is a uh, this is a holiday of sorts. So uh, you take these, you put it away from your face, and and you turn it. You see the arrows, mm -hmm. and we're gonna turn it. It's not gonna be another trip to no, the no, hospital. No, 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 no. <laughs> I right, already watched it. Was just, hey, this is our cel uh, celebratory. Just ready to turn it, and oh my God, it's harder than I thought. We got to get Jenny out here. <laughs> well, oh, uh, here it goes. That was here dazzling. Goes. Here it goes. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. They really haven't. They really haven't done us any favors. Well, hopefully by the 41st anniversary. I think you're going the wrong. You got to go with the arrows. Are you going even with the arrows? I just, I just can't do anything right. <laughs> just the... How long, how long is the damn show? Um... Oh, there we go. <laughs> the first three seasons of my next guest needs no introduction are available to stream on Netflix. We'll be right back with music from Adam Durrett. <laughs>